All right, here we are. Just got through doing the atlatl video. And now I'm going to shoot my other weapon, the Howard Hill Longbow. Now, as I explained in the other video, I have gone to hunting with a crossbow. But I don't want to quit shooting my longbow. Or my outlatle, for that matter. There's more things. Shooting archery is fun in itself. I would say that the majority of people that do archery don't actually hunt with it. It's, a, it's fun just by itself as a discipline. It's good for the body. It gets you outside. I use... These are Black Eagle arrows. They're full length. And the reason that is is because I use what's referred to as the gap shooting method where I use the point of the arrow to as an aiming point. Now let's see, and as I say in my other videos, the, only the first shot counts. So let's see. And where I put the point of my arrow is just below the deer's belly. And let's see if I can make it the first shot count. That's a kill there, but I don't like it. It's a little bit high. It's a kill. That's a double long shot right there. Now we're going to do another one. We're going to get it down where it's even better. A better shot. Hopefully I don't miss and hit that chicken. Here we go. That's a heart shot right there. That's where I wanted to do it to start with. Just keep looking at it. Let me grab a couple more out of it. See what kind of group I can get. I like to hold at least one arrow in my hand. It gives me another shot. And it also, it also, uh, show this here, Debbie. I hold one of the arrows like this in my, and it also gives, uh, it gives me, it, it forces me not to grab the bow very hard because I have to delicately hold it up there, see, with my fingers, and I usually do a better job when I do that. All right, that's another. We'll walk up there and see, but I believe those are heart shots. I'm putting the point. I bring back, bring it here. I hold. I put three fingers under the knot this way. I use three fingers, and I put this index finger as my knock it, as my drawing point on the cheekbone point of my cheekbone. And I took my hat off because I can't shoot the bow with my hat on because the bill gets in the way. The long bow is, I would say, all in all, a more accurate. It's it's better than the outlatl. It's it's an improvement in hunting. That one might have been a little low. We'll go up there in a minute and see if I missed any of those shots. Whoa, now that was a really bad shot. I hit in the top of the deer. I don't know what I did wrong then. It's not foolproof. I have no idea why I, why I did that. Something went wrong. There's another kill. Let's walk up here. This one right here, I have no idea. It must have slipped some kind of way. It might have slipped off my hand or something. That's That deer didn't even hardly get hurt. And this is my other grouping. This was my first one right here. A little bit high. But it's well in the long area. This one here, 
is a little far back. That's going to kill the deer. That's going to be what they commonly refer to as a gut shot, probably a long shot too. You're going to get him, but you don't want to put it back there if you can help it. This is where you want to put them with a bow and arrow, these here guys. So this is my, I call this one olive oil, because it's long and skinny. You know, like on Popeye, this is olive oil right here. But I've quit hunting with olive oil, and I've changed over to, uh, I don't know what I'm going to call that one. That's Betty Boop right there. The, the crossbow is Betty Boop. And... Uh, so this is Gardner Israel. I wanted to show you about the the longbow. And uh, I'd also like to discuss some spiritual matters with you. And I'd like to introduce to you, if you haven't heard it, the name of Yeshua. Yeshua the Messiah. Now you probably know him as Jesus Christ. Jesus, Yeshua, asked his people, the people that believed in him, to declare his name before men. And I'm doing that right now. I'm declaring his name, Yeshua, which means salvation in Hebrew, before men and women that might be watching me. Yeshua offered eternal life. He claimed that he had the power to resurrect people from the dead. I believe that. I read that part in the Bible, the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And I believed it. After a while, I kept on hearing people talking about it. And I finally came to where I believed it. I believe it wholeheartedly. I can't prove it. And as one person told me, Oh, you just believe that because you're getting old and you're going to die and you're just grasping at straws. Maybe. And maybe not. Maybe it is true. I believe it's true. I know a lot of old people that don't believe it, so why don't they grasp at those straws? They don't believe it. I do believe it. And I'd like you, if, if this resonates in your brain, in your fleshly brain, I'd like you to check it out. Do some studying on it. Jesus claimed to be able to resurrect people from the grave. And he actually did it on several occasions when he was here on earth. All right, this is Gardner Israel. I hope I get to talk to you again. I've got still got another video to do on the, the crossbow. The crossbow is next. Okay, I'm out.